Hello everyone, today I will be going to teach you about the concept of how to configure the DNS server and HTTP server in Cisco Packet Tracer. So basically what does DNS server means? DNS which stands for domain name system. There is a company name suppose Amazon at the back end there is IP assigned to this Amazon company. So it's easy to remember the Amazon company name or the IP address. Obviously the company name Amazon. So Completing this task, the HTTP server and DNS server work together to form this function. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make the DNS server in HTTP server in Cisco Packages. So basically, I'm going to take two networks, two networks. In each network, I'm going to take three PCs and one server. This will be our HTTP server. This being my HTTP server, and this part is my network. Network one. Now all these four components, three PCs and HTTP server, connect them with a switch. Make sure that you connect. All the all these PCs and server to the switch with a copper straight through wire. You can connect to any fast Ethernet port or switch doesn't matter. After doing this step, now we will be assigning IPs to the PC of network one. Go desktop IP configuration. I have let it here 192.168.10.1. This is a class C address which is ranging from 192 to 223. So subnet mask will be 3 times 255.0. Default gateway 192.168.10.10. I'm giving test 10.10. Do the same step with the rest of the PCs. Of network one desktop IP configuration ten dot two default gateway ten dot ten desktop IP configuration. 10.3 so must plus C address default gateway 10.10. After doing this step, now you will go to the HTTP server. Now we will be giving an IP to this HTTP server. Go to this desktop IP configuration and give this HTTP server its individual name or individual IP. I'm giving here as 192.168.10. I'm giving this 10.100 class C address. So I'm asking you this default. This is connected to network one, which has a default gateway of 192.168.10.10. Now, before closing it, go to the services. Make sure that HTTP and HTTPS are on, and go to this index.html edit, and look. Edit is written Cisco Packet Tracer. Cut this make it your name i'm writing my name here after changing it click on save yes we want to overwrite click on yes after doing this close this now what i am doing here i have assigned a name to the ip so to showcase that click on http server Go to desktop, web browser. It will take some time to get load. And if this page is open, then right here, the IP we have given to this HTTP server, which was 192.168.10.100 and click on go 
you will see here the changes that we have made in that services going part it is shown here now close this now this this whole step is a part of http server now we will be making a dns server which will also contain three pcs and one server this will be our network too i will be writing here network 2 now make sure you connect all these four components with the switch connect them with a copper straight through wire you can connect to any port of switch doesn't matter Now, this is our network 2, so we will be providing different IPs to the PCs of network 2. Desktop IP configuration, I will write it as 192.168.11.1, giving it default gateway as 192.168.11.10. Copying it, close. Doing a similar step to the rest of the PCs of network 2. 11.2, default gateway 11.10. Identification 11.3. Eleven dot ten. Now close this. After doing this step, click on this server. This is our DNS server right here. DNS server. Click on this DNS server. Go to the desktop. IP configuration. Now we will be providing the IP configuration of this DNS server. Now we will provide an individual IP to this DNS server which will be I'm providing a 192.168.10.200 I'm providing it as 10.200 Submit mask class C is this default gateway is connected to network 2 which has a default gateway of 168.11.10 You should remember the IP we have assigned to each server and its default gateway which is important in this practical now look this is important now look here is providing it is asked to us write the dns server now you will be writing the dns server here the ip v4 address of this http server which was 192.168.10.100 now after doing this close it now the step Two networks have car completed network one and network two. Now we will make a connection between both of these two by using a router. Take PT router here and connect them with a copper straight through wire. And you should remember which part of ethernet port you are connecting i have connected the network one with the router of fast ethernet 0 by 0 and network 2 to the router fast ethernet 1 by 0 because you will be here provide uh, given to write the default gateway of both the network fast ethernet click on fast ethernet 0 by 0 on now this is this part of fast ethernet 0 by 0 is connected to network 1 well right here which was 192.168.10. plus c address go to faster than 1 by 0 on this first one by 0 is connected to this network 2 right here 192.168.10.100 
11.10 we have provided as 11.10 closes after doing this step now go go to this http server once more http server now go to services make sure dns is make sure your dns is on here and write the name now this is the step where we are giving a ip a name i will write here google.com and address now address you will be writing here will be the http server's ipv4 address which was 192.168.10.100 all this services part index.html you will all do this step in http server only not in dns server add this close now the ipv4 address which you have provided in http server write down in all the pcs which will be acting as our dns server which was 192.168.10.100 copy this dns server and paste it in every pc of network 1 and network 2 Copy, copy every PC present in both the network and network one and network two. After copying the DNS server part to every PC of network one, network two, now go to any PC you want. I am giving. I am going on this PC five. Go to this web browser. It will take some time to get open. Page is open. Write here the name which we have provided, which was. google.com and go now look the name which was provided to this google.com which was 192.168.10.0 is shown here now this is the step how http server and dns server work together now you can go to any pc and write this google.com the output will be shown now we need to send that packet now click on this simulation show all none edit filters select dns from ipv4 section and select https and http from miscellaneous section now coming to the message pdu part click on any pc you want i'm clicking on this pc5 go to web browser it will take some time to get load right here the name which Now look, after writing this, a PDU, a message will come here. Click on run. It will go to the HTTP server first. It will return back to the same PC from where it has come. Now it will check. I hope you liked my video. If you like it, then please share and subscribe. 
So look, the PC file is is checking whether this message is verified or not. If after getting verified, the message will be redirecting to the same HTTP server. HTTP server is has verified the message. You have noticed that the color of the PDF has also changed. This is how HTTP server and DNS server work together in Cisco Packet Tracer to accomplish this stuff. Thank you.